Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and uh, welcome back to the No Shop or No Store Challenge. It didn't occur to me when I said it first time around that uh, when a, uh, those of an American persuasion refer to something as being a shop, they usually think workshop, whereas here we think shop and store, same thing, you see? Oh, yes. Anyway, they are. that's fascinating, isn't it? Two cultures separated by a common language. Um, so, what are we missing? We're still missing the ECU. We're still missing the uh, the coolant fill, and uh, and I went to the shop like this, right? And uh, um, we looked up the parts that I still needed, and having priced them up, it comes up to eight hundred quid. And then, following from many suggestions that you'd made as to how to keep this, excuse me, I'm just tidying up a little bit, uh, how to keep this challenge on track, while at the same time not betraying the challenge. Uh, I want you in the parking. There you go. Go on. Go away. Oh, uh, it's not my car. All right. Well, stick it out the front. Look, I want to. I'm trying to try to tell a story. There. See, just leave it out there, rusting. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. The customer will see it and go. Ah, oh, they're obviously they're obviously get round to it. I I know it's not got wheels, but I'm sure that's it's going to be fine. So, I came up with a solution, and the solution is is a relatively simple one. Uh, with any uh the refurb that i'm doing i'm allowed to spend a thousand credits and that's it and uh and if you can't get it running after spending a thousand credits then you can't spend the thousand credits so uh why why is this not a violation well because it means that i can't just go out right at the start of the rebuild and uh and buy you know a, a couple of hundred quids worth of uh, of bushings and some pistons and uh, and spark plugs and that kind of thing. I have to be truly desperate. So even though I'm, I'm going to spend 800 to get this up and running, and maybe if the wind, if the windshield is uh, is within my price range, or this uh, this body panel here, what's that? That's right fender. Uh, if they're within my, my budget, I'll buy those. The headlight can go whistle, frankly. Um, then that counts as legit, because otherwise this will stall out right now. And that will be the end of that. Uh, I only had 80 quid when we last spoke. I've got 1,000 now. I sold all of the... Well, I sold a whole bunch of, uh, of red damaged beyond repair bits and pieces to get the balance back up so that I could actually uh, progress. So we'll buy the... Hold on. I'm going to make sure I've got the right bits, uh, which you don't need the bonnet open for that, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, so I need... The two bits I figure I need in order to make it run are the coolant reservoir D... And an ECU type B. Alright, don't get it wrong. Call it Reservoir D, ECU type B. Okay. Forbidden shopping. Oh, 85 quid after the discount. Thank you, I'll have it. Alright, okay, yeah, alright, that's part number one. And the ECU type B. Super. 595. Oh, that's nice. All right. I was at 1,021, which means I've got effectively 320 quid to play with. Let's try the body panels. Uh, let's go Honda. They, it doesn't know this doesn't live in here because this is a community ding dong whatnot. Ujima, what's it? There you go. Here we are. Honda. Can you see it in the list there? No, I can't. I'll, I'll, then we will. Uh, here we go. City Turbo, and I'd like a windshield. If that would be okay with you. Uh, one windshield, 190 quid. Okay. That gives me 161. Uh, yeah, I'll buy that. And that leaves me 180. Can I get the right fender? Uh, right front, fender, front, fender, front. Yes, right fender. It's going to be 300 quid. I can't afford it. Okay, well, there you go. I guess the, uh, I guess the dream dies here. Um, so I'm still going to end up with a rubbish patchwork work kind of car but i think it very much lives within the uh within the spirit of what i'm putting together oh i'm probably going to have to pay for some um some fluids as well that's uh that's not unreasonable right there we go that's uh that's all all parts now spoken and, and taken care of and some of them might even work the the test of course is going to be whether it starts but in order to do that i'm going to actually have to flew it up yeah, yeah, that's that's what we call it in the uh, in the motoring trade, F fluiding up. That's the stuff. Yeah, give it a bit of that. All right, thank you. 
Uh, right, I've already got brake, brake fluid in. I imagine I've already put in oil. Where's me uh, dipstick? Look in a mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where is my dip? So it's over there, look. Look, look, little yellow flipping handle. There you go. Grab. Uh, where are we? Oh, lovely amount of oil in there. Okay, all right. Uh, what, about a, what about a window washer? Did I get one of those? Or is that strictly optional on this, this vehicle? Uh, you would have thought that that reservoir would be obvious. And yet, I guess not. Really, have I not got a... Is it not got a washer on it? Uh, it says it has. Uh, or does it? You know, the, I mean, you could look for it, but we could just assume either that or it doesn't come with one. Oh, yeah, all right. Let's, let's go with that. Right, let's see if it will... No, no, keep, keep that open. We'll run some compression tests and what have you. Uh, you know, to, to click on that and then give me my tools and we'll run a compression test. Please start. Okay, it started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm I'm full of confidence now. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, so it's given me my uh, my parts assessment, but it started and that's the important thing, which means I'm going to take it to the track because that's the final part of the process. I was informed before we kicked off uh, that the wheels are not correctly aligned. Now, I mean, that's... Uh, that's one problem, certainly. I'd be more concerned about the wheels not fitting inside the fenders correctly. Um, I don't have wheel alignment, so uh, there's not much I could do about that. Right, let's uh, sit inside. Actually, give me a trailing camera. Sort of sounds apart. And we're away. Okay. Now, I've only driven this track a couple of times, so I've, I've no idea about the, uh, the actual track. But I figure this is going to be... Uh, the optimum way to test my builds. I'll tell you something, it handles pretty well. Yeah. I, you can almost feel the... Ooh! I was about to say you can almost feel the breeze blatting you in the face as you zip along. Uh, that front spoiler is going to be giving me all kinds of extra downforce for steering. Uh, and that's helpful too. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very much into it. Uh, yeah, between lap records and the amount of money we've made, that's how we'll test for this kind of stuff. That's jolly exciting. Right, there you go. Round the corner. Round the corner. Round the, round the corner. All right. So much for downforce on the front end. It's all right. That'll buff out. Um, no, I've I've put your I put together your genuine street sleeper here. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a sleeper. It's not a wreck that somehow still turns over. It's a sleeper. That's that's the truth. Right. I'm going to jump back in. Actually, no, no, don't. No way. Yeah, gently, gently, gently. Are we off target? I think we are. I must have missed a corner. Alright. Right. Yeah. How, how did I miss a corner? I don't know. The camera was doing weird and beautiful things and you were too busy following that. Okay. It's not what you might call smooth here inside the cab, but uh, it's... Yeah, well, well, we'll crack on nonetheless. Obviously, it's the, uh, the flying lap is going to be the one that matters. Assuming I managed to do any flying before we complete this lap. Uh, we're through check, checkpoint seven. Right. My goodness me, it's twitching. Yeah, it really is. I'm going to have to save up the money so I can do proper wheel balancing. I mean, the individual wheels are balanced, but uh, the alignment between them, I suspect, is, is not so much. Uh, what do we top out there? 100, 200 kilometers an hour. Why? Gently. Oh, crumbs. Tires. Yeah. All right, hang on. Where's the track gone? It's over here. Okay. I just went a little bit wide, that's all. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm optimistic that we'll beat our two and a half minute first first run time. I mean, we did go from a standing start, which will always slow you down. Possibly not quite as much of a slowdown, though, as running directly into a uh, safety barrier. But, I mean, your, your mileage will vary. Careful. There you go. Keep it going. Nice. You held that. I mean, it was terrible cornering, but you held... Hey! Hello there, nurse. Uh, right. Onwards. Oh, this is going to make some new lucky owner feel very, very happy uh, when, they, when they experience uh, this marvellous bit. I've, got, I've not even got the excuse that the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car. It's on the right side of the car. The only problem with it I have is that I appear to be pressed up against 
the, uh, the right hand side of the vehicle rather more than I would be if I was driving. I would be sat slightly over to the left a little further. Unless these seats really are misaligned and that's, I mean they're certainly mismatched. Um, and that, that would certainly interfere. Okay, right, down some kind of straight. I was going to say it was the back straight, but I have, I have no evidence of that. Okay. Brakes, wall, uh, other wall, roof, rolled it, held it, keep going. Trying to beat our previous lap time. That's going well. Do you think maybe if this were to be a fair test, you would need to do some practice on this track? No, 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 I think the car will rather lend itself towards whatever time it ends up getting. Uh, simply by, you know, by playing ball. Well, it's playing something. It's playing the fall is what it's playing. Yeah. Anyway, this is, this is all going well. Car runs. It goes quite fast. Uh, it's ideal for, for, you know, someone's second car, perhaps. Because your first one's going to be a Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, but your second car should be some unsafe heap that looks kind of sporty that you put an outrageously large exhaust on and thrash it around town at 10 o'clock at night. Right, what do we get? Two minutes, two seconds, or two minutes and two hundredths of a second, two tenths of a second. Ah, oh, good. Right, let's just grab some glamour here. Glamour shots. Give me a glamorous shot. I need to put this on my uh, eBay advertisement for the car. Runner. It's, uh, it's MOT'd. Yeah. I was pretty sure there was a swanky external camera here somewhere. There you go. That's swanky. It's external. Perfect. Yeah. You want it, don't you? Especially because it growls. Listen not that growl? Brrr. Nice. Right, let's see what we get for it. Uh, right, creditage. Well, it's uh, 33,000, which is a 27 grand profit and a stolen engine. Solid. Done. Yeah. Make it happen. Okay, we're back in business. 33 and what? Well, 338 in the bank. That's not so bad at all. I can't remember what cars I've actually got at the moment. I've got this that I'm really not that interested. Uh, the Katagiri Katsumoto. Yeah. It doesn't excite me. I'm not excited by this car. Uh, I am going to go and pay a visit to the uh, to the garage. And uh, I don't know where I am. Well, press that. Yeah, go to map. Go to parking. Yeah. I've got just Salem over King. Tempting. Uh, we've got the BMW M3. More tempting. Uh, the Calliope. Yeah. Oh, that's the... We can make that work. Uh, the Mustang. Always fun to play with the Mustang. And uh, the XJ220. I think this is this is rather going to take a trip to the junkyard on multiple occasions to kind of fish out what sort of condition they're in. Alternatively, of course, I could go. Well, hold on. Let's yeah, no, 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 no. back up out of here. I mean, yeah, close that. Yep, yeah, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. And and yeah, close that too. I then go to this. I then go. Show me body panels. What have we got? Uh, can I sort by like name? That would be a good thing to do. There we are. Right, M3 parts. You've got a grand total of not very many at all. Okay. The uh, Elenti Calliope, uh, or Ca Ca Cal Calope, I don't know what it's called. Uh, you've, got, you've got a reasonable shake of Calope parts. In fact, you've got a good shake of Calope parts. Right, Mustang, uh, you've got not as many. Okay. 220, for some reason I've got three XJ220 hoods. Now, as mentioned, I'm not going to be selling parts in isolation. Just means I'm going to need to buy more XJ220s at some point. I've got a... I've got, you got a Honda City Turbo 2 windshield there. Oh yeah, I bought that. You didn't fit it to the car before you sold it. Huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would have made you more money. Instead, you're now sat on a reason to buy another Honda. Oh, well, ah, that's, that's just part of the rich tapestry. None of this excites me. I'm going to the junkyard. I'm going to see if something there excites me in some fashion. 